So I went to my first meeting with Alabaster Jar. I had just got involved with that kind of work. And on the crossing, there was a young girl standing and suddenly she began to undress and she got completely naked, no hiding, no shame. And I was quite shocked. But what shocked me more was that people did not even stop. They did not bother to look. They just passed by like this was the normal in that kind of setting. And uh, I really decided to get more involved in Alabaster Jar. I think first and foremost we're here because we believe that Jesus would be here if he would be still on earth with those women. They're out here because they don't have any money. They often provide for the whole family at home. They have no other chance. Quite often they're homeless. They're pregnant right here on the streets, working in their pregnancies. And this is the way they have to live. It's not because of choice. It's because they have no other option. And this is why we're here. We want to help them because Jesus would be here. So we were on our way back from street outreach and out of the corner of my eye I saw an elderly woman from Eastern Europe. She was clearly freezing and she was struggling to hold herself up. She shared that she hadn't eaten in eight days and that she had nowhere to sleep that night. So we brought her back into the cafe and she sat down on the sofa. She gave a roar of relief and we wrapped her with a blanket and we were able to connect with a partner organisation that had a Kelta bus, a winter bus, and that could find a homeless shelter for her to sleep safe that night. And as we waited for this bus to arrive, we were able to pray with her, we laughed, we cried together. She was stroking my hair like a mother does to a daughter. It was just beautiful. And as the bus arrived, she was jumping up and down. She was saying, thank you, thank you, thank you. We knew that she had somewhere safe and that our work had made a difference to her that night. In 2019, Alabaster Jar reached 181 different women through cafe, street, brothel, and strip club ministries. Your prayers and partnership are vitally important to the work that we do. Our team of volunteers and staff are hard at work here in Berlin and remotely in many different countries to raise awareness about the issues of human trafficking and to raise essential funds to support and to grow the ministry work on the ground. To build a relationship and to instill confidence and hope for change with the women that they might know that there is one who loves them so much that he laid down his life for them. And lastly, we want to enable the women to access practical help that they so desperately need. And this is why I would like to invite you to partner with Alabaster Jar so that we can see more lives transformed and dignity restored to women who are trapped in Berlin's sex industry.